Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and I just got in the Ubiquities Unfi Switch 24 PoE. This is their Gen 2 model. I had ordered a little while ago, and it just came in. So let's uh, take a look. I have been looking to upgrade my network here in my house, and so this was the switch, the 24 port switch that I was looking at. I already got the UDM Pro, so the Dream Machine Pro, and that's already installed. I got a rack, I've ran a few wires, I still got some more stuff to run, and I got two of their Nano HDs, and this was the missing part. It was on back order, so um, let's take a quick overview of it. If you guys have suggestions on all the stuff setting up or what I should be doing, feel free to put them in the comments, contact me direct. I'm learning this stuff up. It's been a long time since I've did network, but they got a lot of cool, cool stuff out there. The one thing I didn't like about the Switch is that it doesn't have the SFP Plus port, which means it's only one gig link instead of 10 gig between the UDM Pro and the um, and this Switch right here, this Unfi Switch 24 PoE is what they have it on here. But it's a 24 port switch it's 802.3 and you're probably not going to be able to see this writing because it's in white on this box um it has two s s s f p port with full one gig uplinks it's a layer two switch it has 24 ports obviously uh 16 which are 802.3 at poe plus ports and i don't remember the power on there but i think it's like 10 watts and I could be completely wrong they just don't have it on here this does have a little touch screen on it and it does come with the rack mounting kit and everything in the package but it's also a 120 watt power supply on here so if you're looking at power requirements or something for your house this is pretty low power I didn't now they do have a 24 port 10 gig model um, for the SF or SFP plus ports however I didn't want to go there because an extra delay what was it uh, $300 roughly and I didn't want to spend just $300 just for that port. Um, it, it seemed a little ridiculous to me at this time. If there's new upgrades, you know, maybe 10 gig or whatever else, I'm really hoping that the UDM Pro can be a centerpiece going forward for everything to do. And if I want to upgrade a switch or if I need to run more network uh, capabilities, more network lines to have more network access all over with, then I might upgrade the switch then. And at that point, I'd make sure that, you know, if, if I go beyond 24 ports, which I'm pretty close to right now, then we just go to 48 port switch with a 10 gig uh, link, and we should be good there. But one th really nice thing I like about Ubiquiti's box is right off the bat, and even with the UDM Pro, as I didn't mention this, is that there is a little tab here. It's a little pull tab. You're able to then pull this, and it opens up the box. Uh, you know, little things like that make the unboxing experience a little bit better. Also makes it so you don't have to take out a knife everywhere and <laughs> try to open up a box. But as soon as you open a box, it's, it does say, tell you, hey, download a quick start guide. So that is there. And once we get it open, one thing I think Ubiquity has done well, I don't, uh, you know, I've gotten four devices from them. So, and plus a cable, I got their little uh, SFP plus port uh, SFP plus uh, direct to catch copper cable so there but they do seem to pack pack their boxes quite well so if you look in here now you'll see a little box on top as well as the foam protecting the switch so let's take out the box and let's see what's in the box first before we unbox the switch here so we have the power cord We have the brackets, and one thing I noticed, uh, let's see, I'm gonna use the brackets anyway, so I'll open them up here. And there's two brackets, it almost makes it look like, hey, there's two brackets in here, but the thickness is that they, um, there we go. The brackets are double thick on what mounts to the rack, which is really nice. I like the reinforcement, right, because you don't want a switch to bend on you. Uh, Let's see, then they also have the hardware. And this hardware is all, this is the rack hardware. Actually, it's all of it. So this is rack and, uh, and uh, rack, so the rack hardware for the racks and then also the screws to put it into the switch so you can rack mount it. And then also inside this box, so now the box is empty. Also inside is your instructions. 
and chances are that's also going to stay sealed. Then the only last thing in the box is this switch. So, box is empty. Somebody has to really clean up that cardboard over there. I've been running all this stuff with the network, and there's been a lot of stuff coming to try to get that up to date. Um, you know, you got the network, you got little cables, just these whole bunch of little boxes, and plus I'm trying to refinish the basement, as you can kind of tell. And uh, I haven't been on top of my boxes. So, this is packed up really tight. So, you got one right there. And then your second one. And then it has that nice, I don't know what type of sleeve this is. I asked my brother, he told me he does manufacturing. He's a manufacturing uh, engineer, so he kind of knew some of that stuff. But I'm, a, I'm just a computer engineer, so I didn't really care. It's got a nice little stick to it here. That thing comes out. Almost kind of like the peels. It almost seems like it's resealable, which is pretty nice. Let's see this through. And there we go. Comes off. And then here it is. So we got, they call it the U, USW power. And you see we got little slots up here. This is for your cooling. This is a lot shorter. Um, this distance right here. The UDM Pro comes probably all the way back out to here-ish. So it's a lot smaller, a lot lighter. Of course, there you know a little bit less in here. Plus, the UDM Pro does add a, in a hard drive as well. Then you got your little touch screen here, and we'll get that peel if I can hold on to it. There we go. So this little touch screen, which is uh, kind of helpful actually, I've used it on the UDM Pro. You got your um, 24 and 25 ports right there, the SFP ports, which are one gig. Then you got your 24 RJ45. The mount for the brackets. You got your rear, so you got your fans up here, or not your fans, but your air, um, basically air vents. And then you have your power over here. So it's, uh, what do they call this? They call this, the model number is the USW-24-POE. So this is your 24 port PoE model. Um, it should be able to run the two uh, wireless access points that I have. I, they're not overly powerful. They just need to run two of those. And then everything else is going to plug in. No need to have anything else with PoE. The only thing I really wish I had was a 10 gig link um, for maybe future proofing or anything else. But I don't think I'm going to be pushing it that hard to really need that at this time. At some point, I would like if, you know, hopefully more cards at least go 2.5 gig or 5 gig, even 10 gig, and you can start kind of getting that data, especially transfer back. You know, I do YouTube videos, the Plex server, everything else here. It's starting to, the network as I put in the UDM uh, Pro, I started to notice I'm starting to use the network a little bit more heavily than I'm used to. So if you guys got ideas, everything else, and as more things jump on this network, I will be more than willing to you know take your advice and adapt my network accordingly because there's a lot that these things can do and I have not been really focusing on the network side of things in many years but with devices like this I'm hopefully that I'm building a network here that's gonna be more, more robust and not something that I have to go reset every other day because that was what the old setup was and it was getting irritating and my wife was irritated and you want to make sure it's easy on your wife especially when she's not a tech person so that she can get whatever she wants to have done in a timely fashion so i do want to say put your comments below put your suggestions below on what i should do um, what you'd like to maybe have tested out i would love to do another video about this stuff i probably will do a little setup video maybe show you how i have it all set up it's not going to be wired perfectly yet because i was trying to get correct lengths of wire and i think i ordered the wrong one so fun i'm going to be using weird cable lengths until i get all all those cable lengths correct but until next time, I do want to say thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for helping support this channel and helping it grow. I really appreciate it. And until next time, God bless. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.